to Desmond's Donders. Let's head off on a donder. What a bug head. The broth. For one night in mid March. Join us on our donna. Burghead is a small town in Moray, Scotland, about eight miles northwest of Elgin. The town is mainly built on a peninsula that projects northwestwards into the Moray Firth, meaning that most of the town has sea on three sides. The present town was built between 1805 and 1809, destroying in the process more than half of the site of an important Pictish hill fort. General Roy's map shows the defences as they existed in the 18th century, but he wrongly attributed them to the Romans. The fort was probably a major Pictish centre and was where carved slabs depicting bulls were found. They are known as the Burghead Bulls. A chambered well of some considerable antiquity was discovered in 1809 and walls and a roof were later added to help preserve it. Each year on the 11th of January, a fire festival known as the Burning of the Clavey takes place. It is thought that the festival dates back to the 17th century, although it could easily predate this by several centuries. Burghead is often known by locals as the broth. The Harvest Reaper is one of the most celebrated boats to have fished the Moray Firth. Built in Fraserburgh 
It was based at the port under the stewardship of John Downey May from the 1930s until 1965. It was while he was at the helm that the vessel became involved in attempts to rescue a pilot from an aircraft that ditched in the sea. Shortly before noon on April the 29th, 1946, a Firefly aircraft flying out of the Naval Air Base at Rattray near Fraserburgh got into difficulties about six miles off the coast. The plane lost power and ditched in the water near the Harvest Reaper, breaking off its mast in the process. The crew immediately rushed to the plane in an attempt to help the pilot, who was 20-year-old Kenneth Williams from Liverpool, but was sadly unable to save his life. The vessel remained in Fraserburgh, later under the command of Mr May's son Jim, before it was sold to new owners in Macduff. The weathered hull remained on the quayside at Burghead after running aground off the coast in the 1980s where it remained until January 2015 when Moray Council demanded it was moved in order to make way for developments at the harbour. Now the restored boat is permanently based in the village so that more can learn about its celebrated past. Here, as we look round, we can see what remains of the Pictish fort. There is not much in remaining, but archaeology continues with summer visits from universities. Looking back down between the ramparts, the white building is the Coast Guard station or an old Coast Guard station. Burghead Well stands in the northeastern corner of what once a great Pictish fort. Three huge ramparts and ditches cut off the headland heading into the Moray Firth. Behind them lay an inner fort dating to about AD 500. Burghead may have served as a Pictish naval base.
but it was destroyed by fire in the 800s. Burkhead Well stood in the annex on the line of the ramparts of the fort. Remnants of the fort were mostly destroyed in 1808 when the planned town of Burghead was built. In 1809 the well was excavated to serve as water supply for the planned town. Inside the green hollow workers discovered a 5 metre square with a 4 metre high chamber, a 3 metre square cistern, a flight of stairs leading down, cut from solid rock. The cistern had a freestanding stone pedestal in one corner and a basin cut into another. The cistern was deepened using explosives to increase the water capacity and the entrance arch and roof chamber were built. There have been a few theories regarding the well's function. It may have been the water supply of the Pictish fort but its monumental character makes it ill-suited to utilitarian function. Perhaps the most plausible theory is that Burghead Well was once a Pictish cult centre, which was later converted to Christian use. There's plenty to do and plenty to see in Burghead for a much longer visit than we had. Thank you for watching Desmond Stompers. We'll hope you'll join us again for more photos, waffle and video as we travel around Scotland. Bye for now.